An MMA fighter who suffered a mysterious fall from a highway overpass is taking the first steps on a long recovery. KPX 5's Devin Feely was able to speak with him today. Devin? Yeah, I talked to Sam and his mother, and his mother teared up as she described seeing her son in the ER for the first time two weeks ago. She says that his skin was ashen and lifeless and cold to the touch, and she feared that he was dying. But this young man has been fighting ever since to regain his life. Sam Ramiro's body, broken back, fractured pelvis, shattered elbow, and collapsed lung, is a roadmap to trauma his mind will not yet let him remember. I'm so used to doing this, like walking, running, training, doing everything I possibly can to be the best version of myself as a fighter, and then next week if I'm in a wheelchair. Two weeks ago, a passerby found Sam floating in the Guadalupe River in downtown San Jose. It appears he fell, or perhaps was pushed from the Highway 87 overpass, plummeting 60 feet to the river below. He looked like he was already dead. He was cold, he was white, and the only reason I knew that he was still alive was that um, they had the monitors on, I could see his heart beating. But Sam's is a fighter's heart, and he wasn't ready to throw in the towel. In the past two weeks, he has survived five surgeries, weaned himself off a breathing tube, and just today took his first faltering steps towards leaving that wheelchair behind. I walked, it was super hard, but I mean, just getting, being able to stand up and being able to walk, it's, I'm, I'm so happy, it, makes, it brings a smile to my face. But while his strength is returning, his memories so far at least have not. The CHP is investigating what happened, but his mom says the family's singular focus is on his recovery. Because for all of the progress he's made, they know that he still has quite a fight ahead of him. I have my son. This is, this is my life. So that's all I care about. That's going to be a long, long road of just recovering and, and making sure I'm back to normal, but I definitely see myself getting back to the octagon. Now, Sam says he plans to meet with his doctors tomorrow to assess his progress and determine how much longer he will likely have to remain here at the hospital. In San Jose, Devin Feely, KPIX 5.